Hey guys, it's Kevin. A uh, lot of you have your HP own start, and you think it's a power supply. And this power supply is po very popular among HP printers. And most people really don't know how to troubleshoot it. Let me show you. So the input is uh, from 100 to uh, 240 volts. And the output, their dual output, one is 32 volts, and also it can output 12 volts. You'll need a multimeter. Uh, just a regular multimeter can measure voltage will work. Uh, you don't need a big powerful one like mine. Uh, we can connect to the power. Now we're going to measure the voltage among those three pins. Uh, you can just directly using a multimeter's uh, prop, or uh, like me, uh, I do this a lot, so I uh, I made myself a uh, uh, leather device. I just take the regular cable and just cut them to different length. And uh, okay, it's backwards. We need to switch around. Um, the middle one is the ground. Uh, let me give you a hint. So the one on the left, the, the red one, is the voltage output. So let's, let's measure, oh, let's reverse again. The black should go to the ground, and uh, the red go, goes to the voltage output. The output is 32 volts, and my, my multimeter is uh, auto range, so pay attention to the unit. The unit says V, so it's volts. And this unit is multi-voltage. The next voltage should be 12 volts. And you'll think, oh yeah, uh, so the middle one is ground. So I'm going to just measure the voltage difference between the middle one and uh, the wire on the right. And that's incorrect. And uh, it's going to show you about uh, 500 millivolts. So it's about 0.5 volt. Is far from the 12 volts that you're looking for. So is this unit malfunction? No. And if you look at it, so the one on the right, it output both 32 and 12 volts. Middle one is the ground, and the right one is uh, moon, or it's called the crescent. Uh, yeah, I'll be looking up and down and uh, find out the, what this symbol is, cannot figure it out, so I took one apart. And uh, here's what to look inside. Inside, and uh, it marked out for you too. So the one on the right said S mode, the middle one said ground, GND ground, and uh, the left one said voltage out, V out. So I guess with a crescent, it may be a sleeping mode. Uh, so basically, that little voltage uh, you see is kind of switch. So if you drain that voltage to the to to the ground, uh, for example, you put a one k resistor on it, it will uh, drain that voltage. When that voltage gets drained, it goes to uh, the 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 voltage output will be twelve volts. And uh, here I just do a quick and easy. And they go, it's not a ideal. Ideal, you should have a resistor to join it. Um, so I just uh, uh, short the ground and the uh, S mode, uh, sleep mode, and I did the measurement. And uh, this is six. That's not right. Okay, uh, it's, it's maybe just connection. I'll just flip over. Get give a better connection. Uh, you can see if you do this quick and dirty way, sometimes it's not that precise. But uh, as long as you get the voltage out, it's, it's going to work. Okay, now you can see it's 13.23 uh, volt. So it's uh, roughly close to 12 volt. And, uh, and that gave us to do a quick dirty way. So uh, my conclusion is that this unit is working. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. Visit us at www.bchtechnology.com or locally at Greensboro, North Carolina. Cheers.